Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a Gear Anxiety, yo soy Ana y hoy tenemos un capítulo muy especial. Eh, estoy aquí con Oliver Ackerman de Death by Audio y de la banda A Place to Bury Strangers. How are you, Oliver? Good, how are you doing? Good, I'm so Excellent. excited to have you here. Yeah, it's so excited yeah. to be here. <laughs> so tell us a bit about the gear you brought today and the gear that you're You're using this for your show tonight, right? Yes, yeah, I only have the gear that I brought for the show tonight. So, um, yeah, it's a uh, modified Fender yeah, Jaguar guitars. There's a couple of them that have been maybe like cracked a few times and <laughs> put back yeah. together. Uh, they got some screws holding the necks on straight. Oh, but I love it. Stuff like that, yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you know, and so they get thrown around a bit. This one, it had... Um, This piece of the guitar broke off and someone stole it. Oh, someone stole it? Someone stole Just it. Like so, that. <laughs> that's it. So then I had to put the jack at the back. Okay. And then, but it still works like it a dream. It still works, yeah. Yeah, it so, so that's cool. okay. You and just recorded go. with it, right? I In did, yeah. It's, uh, it sounds really good. You know, maybe less wood is yeah. a bigger sound or something. <laughs> Definitely. So, How long have um, you had this guitar? I don't know. Maybe 10 years or oh, something. Okay. I don't know. It's hard to tell with some of these guitars, and a lot of times it's not the same neck as the guitar oh, okay. originally came from. As they break apart, yeah. then you kind of get all your necks and bodies and piles and things, yeah. and then put them together for Definitely. the next trip or tour or something. Okay. Probably what every it. musician does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. Yeah, but it looks so cool. And what about like this pickup? So this is a lipstick pickup. Okay. It's um, it's a I think it's was wound by Chris Novak. Okay. or something and so i used to use these pickups which were called like tone of god because they were these really cheap uh pickups oh, i think okay. um chinese ones and they were lipsticks and you could get them for like nine dollars on oh, wow. ebay yeah. so i'd buy a whole bunch of them because they they would always like smash the pickups at some point when the yeah. body breaks apart as everybody does and uh and then <laughs> so uh, i was using those for a while but then they all sounded kind of all different I thought they sounded all great, but okay. they didn't. But some they sounded didn't. good, some sounded bad. Yes. And then these are some pickups that sound really good. So cool. I just use these yeah. now. Love it. You have the I same pickups here? This might actually be... Uh, no, this is two of the Chinese pickups. Okay. Two Tone of God pickups in that one. How do you feel so. with these pickups and your pedals? Like in response? Well, so, like, even the Jaguar guitar, I feel like, is kind of a really bad-sounding guitar. <laughs> and the pickups are, like, a lot of times kind of really thin. Yeah. And sort of, there's not much sustain, you know, and it's kind of a little bit overly trebly and okay. whatnot. But I think that that um, really lends itself to be able to do a lot and manipulate a lot with the sound. Okay. And so then some of these, like, filters and stuff, You know, since I use kind of a bunch of different like gain and distortion pedals, you can really sort of like build it up to uh, slowly, you know, have a lot of different levels of kind of distortion and bringing it to that point of where it sounds like the end of the world, you know, takes a little okay. bit to get there, you know, okay. as opposed to just like you've got some humbuckers yeah. and then it's like instantly your sound just sounds like mud or something potentially with, I mean, I'm using a lot of distortion, a lot of different reverb and delay and stuff like that so it kind of can quickly become too overwhelming uh, yeah. and um you know and a, a lot about playing music is actually the playing of the music yeah. and so yeah, uh, so you know that's like it kind of you know you can kind of go a lot more places when you can kind of you're riding on that balance of like what's clear and what's completely un Okay. You know, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. but I, yeah, I love it. I think they have a lot of your like personality. In them, yeah, so for sure, cool. of course. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, that's you know, it's something I'm comfortable with. Yeah. And so maybe not everybody would be, but for me, this feels like home. Oh, so, definitely. I also have a Jaguar. It's, cool. Uh, it has uh, two humbuckers. Cool. It's cool. Yeah, awesome. prefer than the single coil. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's works probably better. way better. Yeah. It's way totally, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I yeah. love it because it's just like uh, you can take it to Warren. It's, it's so great. That's the best thing. Sensitive. I mean, that's what's good about the Fender guitars is as much as these are broken, <laughs> they're still the sturdiest guitars. Definitely. You know, yeah, so. you can still play with them. Yeah. Yeah, that's great, Oliver. So tell me a bit about the pedal board you have today. Sure. Yep. I've got, uh, this is my pedal board. It's got um, this pedal, which is just like this kind of, um, uh, it's sort of based off of like a four track preamp. Okay. And so it's like you've got like the gain knob and the master volume and the bass and the treble. Okay. And this makes it so that um, 
no matter what guitar or whatever the situation is, or we go to play a lot of different shows, a lot of different places, and the amps sound wildly different, you know, and sometimes you can't even get the amp to say sound yeah. the way that you want. Yeah. So it's good to have a pedal where you can like add more bass or treble, yeah. or you're like all of a sudden there's insane feedback when you don't want okay. it or something. And so you can kind of like control all of those factors oh, that's, that's right like, away from the yeah. beginning. So it's kind of like your instrument or what it is, or the clean sound, like if it's not loud enough, I can just crank this up and it's Definitely. as loud as anything else like for touring, could ever be. Super, it's super perfect. Cool. Yeah, it's so great. I mean, it's even great to have in a studio or anything. Yeah. Everyone should have like a equalizer pedal or something. Okay. I think it's kind of crucial yeah, or definitely. that kind of thing. And definitely. it's probably a pedal we're gonna make at some point. Yeah, that you sounds should. Kind of we should. <laughs> you should so, definitely. Yeah, so we, we will. I always have the pedals that are like before they ever come out. I'm a yeah, that's board. why I was so going to ask you that. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> Like, yeah, because yeah, I've, I've never seen, like, a lot of them. And Probably, like, <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, so there's there's this, first it goes into this pedal. Okay. And then it goes to the Armageddon pedal, which was the prototype for the Apocalypse. Okay, yeah, because I, I see, like, kind of like the design here. There right? you go, yeah. So it's got all the same different channels, and then it also has an, an additional filter, which is like, um, one, it's like a notch filter. And here is like the filter that's on the apocalypse. Okay. So it's like kind of like an apocalypse with an extra filter. Okay. Which looks amazing. Which is cool. Super <laughs> yeah, badass. It is. It is a little bit dirty. And then uh, it goes into this wah pedal, okay. which it's just a wah standard kind of wah circuit, but that I built and could tune it to whatever I wanted. Okay. And um, and then it goes to this space bender pedal, which is this pedal that's coming out on. Uh, uh, next week, I think, or something, oh, on really? Tuesday or Wednesday wow, or something like super that. super exciting. And so, uh, yeah, it's just really sick. It's like, does these like envelope delays and LFO delay and modulation and stuff. Okay. And then it goes into this pedal, the Space Divider, which is basically a rooms pedal. Okay. And then it also has a beat, but I can turn on the left and the right channel independently. Oh, cool. And so you can kind of do some kind of cool things. And then since that's like this... Uh, digital pedal which is all these different like programmed sounds okay. in the thing of writing code I can have like a couple extra code things which are just particular to specific things that I want to do so I can do some other cool. kind of crazy things yeah. and then uh, it goes into this like it's sort it's like a modded RV6 reverb okay, where it cool. just sounds kind of fucked up <laughs> and it's kind of cool and I just I use this because it also has like the jacks going the correct way for the thing, so okay. it, it works flawlessly all the cool. time for this. Love and, it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And then I sing then, yeah. through an Echo Master. Cool. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you that because I yeah. was uh, listening to the um, to the live session, and your voice sounds like this echo is you. Uh, put it through that pedal. Yeah, right. for sure, and that's okay. just like ensures a way to where like your voice always sounds like EQ'd in a really yeah. cool way. Yeah, really cool. And. Um, you know, just kind of sounds good where you trust that it sounds good and it doesn't feed back a lot in monitors or yeah. something. So if you're playing a live show, you can hear your vocals with echo. Okay. It doesn't sound all awkward and weird. Yeah, yeah. It <laughs> feel strange. So, yeah, uh, which I feel like is, uh, you know, makes you comfortable performing yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And if you're playing shows at different places and you don't have your own sound engineer, it's crucial to have that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, Great. Sure. I love it. Cool. Do, do you think we can listen um, just like sure. Rips, uh, of course. Some of the pedals. Yeah, totally. Let's oh, do it. Awesome. All right.
so huge, like huge sound. I love it. Cool. So I love the knee playing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love it, Oliver. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so cool. much. Cool. Thank you so much. Here's the string, by the way. There you go. I see, yeah. I see you broke two there's, and there's, Yeah, there's rock only and roll. Love it. four of the six. <laughs> Oh, I love it, Oliver. Thank you. Thank awesome. you so much um, for this. It's a huge honor for me to have you here. In yeah, Spain. it's so great to be here. It's so yeah. cool. It's awesome what you're doing. Thank Gear you so anxiety. much. Gear anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, cool. go check out A Place to Bury Strangers and cool. go check out more of that by audio and go check out more of Gear Anxiety. And thank you so much, Oliver. Thank you for having me. Yay. So great. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Awesome.